stay in a constant state of listening. Even Kodak now has just um, hired someone to be their chief listener. Chief listener? Um, not even chief. Is it a woman? Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> Chief, chief listener, chief listening officer, but this person's sole responsibility is to listen to their consumer and their customer day in and day out. They've actually got a panel of 180 consumers that are, you know, advocates for the brand that they're constantly monitoring in addition to general consumers. So you need to stay in a constant state of listening because the brand really no longer owns its own message. Um, women and, you know, consumers as a whole take a very active role in managing that brand reputation and, and message. So it's really incumbent upon the brand to stay in touch and really know what's going on out there. Um, I think we have to respect moms as women and not just as conduits or gatekeepers to the kids. I think McDonald's did a really good job of that when they had their the Woman Inside a Mom program, and that was right when they were launching their premium salads. They really looked to figure out what the moms or women needed and that would make them more comfortable and have a better experience with McDonald's, not just to get them in with their kids, although that is their ultimate goal. Um, so they really revamped the play spaces. They, were, they um, put in Wi-Fi in some locations. They put in more comfortable seating. And I think that really shows some respect and, and really is kind of smart strategically on their part. Um, I think also marketers really need to understand the half-truth that women are telling versus the whole truth. The half truth would be, I'm very comfortable with my looks. <laughs> the whole truth is, if given a choice, I'd look better. And you know what? Brands can lose billions of dollars by not paying attention to that. It's really important because it's, 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 a, it's a real dynamic, and it's not deliberate. Women aren't lying to them. They're just trying to tell them what they want to hear. Um, there's a really good example of the Dove campaign for real beauty with the women in the white undies, and they were all very natural looking and everything. That was heralded as one of the greatest PR campaigns ever because it was all about women comfortable with their natural looks. And the sales skyrocketed. But the second year, they went down. And the third year, they flatlined. And that's because they, they based the whole marketing campaign on a half-truth, which is, I am comfortable with my natural look. On the flip side, Procter & Gamble's Oil of Olay, when they launched Pro Age Regenerous, they really focused on the whole truth, which is, you know, I've got these facial lines, but I'm not really happy about showing them, you know? And so they marketed Regenerous when they launched it as an alternative to invasive cosmetic surgery to help build better looks for women, you know? And no matter what you believe about women in natural beauty or not, it resonated and the sales skyrocketed.